take a look now at this sine wave simulator. It's set up so we've got an amplitude of 1. So we can see the displacement is 1. So here's our amplitude here. Frequency is set to 1, which means uh, frequency from our definitions means the number of waves passing a given, given point each second. So here is one complete wave um, in one second. The, so the period is the same uh, when the frequency is 1. The period will be 1 because of the relationship um, T equals 1 over F. So 1 over 1 gives you 1. So what happens if I increase, well, I'll increase the amplitude. Um, so as we increase the amplitude, the peaks get taller, uh, but there's no change to frequency or period. Okay, we can go back the other way. If we change, now we're going to change the frequency to 2. So when we look what happens to the wave, we notice there's now two wavelengths or two cycles per second. But the period has now halved because it takes only half that time or 0.5 seconds for one cycle. Okay, so if we increase the frequency to maybe four, we should now have four, one, two, three, four cycles in one second. The period now has um, decreased by one over four, which is 0.25. So the period of one wave all the time is uh, 0.25 seconds. Okay, so that's that relationship. If we take it back the other way, and decrease our frequency. This means 0.5 means only half of the wave cycle in one second. So here's half of the wave. So it's actually now takes two waves, uh, two two seconds for the wave to pass. Okay, so the period is two.